You guys, I am so disappointed in Larry Rudolph, okay? This is Britney Spears' manager, longtime manager, by the way. Um, and I just, like, I'm so disappointed up to stage and get rid of the negative energy. So grab a snack, grab a drink, all right? Because we have a lot of talking to do, all right? And some reading, too. So, a couple days ago, I did a reading on Britney Spears. Actually, this may have been yesterday. I don't remember. I do so many YouTube videos. It's ridiculous. So, by the way, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like this video. Comment. Share with your friends and family. Hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you get a notification whenever I go live. And if you would like a personal reading from me, I am an astrologer as well as a psychic tarot reader. So I can read your cards as well as your birth chart. So if you do want a reading from me, please check out my website, lamartownsendtarot.com. And I will be happy to read for you. Once again, that's lamartownsendtarot.com. This is a candle, all right, that happens to have my website name on it. So there you go. Also, make sure if you would like to follow me on my social media pages, my Instagram is at, uh, wait, no, my Instagram is at Lamar Townsend, and my Facebook is Lamar Townsend Tarot. Back to the topic at hand. So, a couple days ago, I did a reading on Britney Spears uh, to see if she would ever perform again, because there was a rumor out, there was some drama out, that Britney would never perform again. Let me turn down this music, because I'm sure you can hear it. And if you're wondering who it is, it's Aaliyah. But, okay, so a couple days ago I did a reading on Britney, and in that reading I discovered that obviously Britney is being, uh, you know, hugely controlled by her team, by the people around her. Now, this includes Larry Rudolph. Now, the reason why I'm so upset with Larry Rudolph. Larry Rudolph has been Britney Spears' manager for a long time. I believe at the start of her career, right? You know, so that means Larry Rudolph has seen Britney from the very beginnings, the very early starts to who Britney is now. My issue with Larry Rudolph is why all of a sudden is now the time for Britney to no longer perform and to put Britney's mental health first, uh, you know, when, you know, Britney's mental health was in jeopardy long before now, long before 2019. Here's my issue with Larry Rudolph. Larry Rudolph seems a little bit shady now, all of a sudden, doing this whole Britney Spears is never performing thing again because it seems like Britney's not as viable as she once was. Do you guys remember when Britney was at the top of the game? Britney Spears, you know, back in the early 2000s, back in the late 90s, was Justin Bieber, was Kim Kardashian, was Beyonce all in one. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the hugest star on the planet. And, you know, Britney made Larry, Britney made her her mother and father, her family, and, you know, her music label, her record executives, and all those types of things. And he, she made them a lot of money over the years. But now as Britney's getting older, now as Britney, you know, um, is requiring more, you know, time to herself, is requiring more time for her mental health, now, all of a sudden, Larry Rudolph, you know, decides to pull the plug, you know, and it just seems a little shady because it just seems not authentic, Larry. You know, my issue with you is that you you have made Britney who she is today. You are her talent manager. You've been her manager for, you know, for, for forever, basically. So you were there in 2007 when she had her mental breakdown, when she was, you know, slamming umbrellas into cars and trucks. You were there when she, you know, um, was having a breakdown on national TV with, uh, who was it? Diane, Diane Carroll. What is her name again? Diane Keaton. I don't remember, I don't remember her name, but you know the interview where she cried because she was talking about how the paparazzi's always on her ass. And, and this was a little bit after she broke up with Justin, but Larry continued to work Brittany. All right. Now when, when, what era was this? Because I think this was the in the zone era. This was right before the breakdown. Cause after in the zone is when Brittany was kind of no longer the same. Now, I specifically remember during the In The Zone era, Britney was still being worked like a dog. She had so many specials. She was on tour. Wasn't that the, what was that, the Onyx Hotel tour, right? So during, you know, Britney's early breakdown, Larry, you were kind of like working her, like, like a racehorse. So I don't understand why you didn't take the time to tend to her mental health then when the cracks were starting to show. Now, let's fast forward to 2007, 
when Britney has a complete breakdown. You know, like this is, you know, um, because in 2003 in the zone is when she like broke her foot or whatever. She had like that thing, you know, and that's when we knew, okay, there's something going on. Was that also around the time that Britney got married for like two hours or something like that? Like the, we saw the cracks starting to show. That's Larry when you should have taken time to tend to her mental health, but you continue to work Britney. Okay, so fast forward to 2007. Britney has a complete mental breakdown. This is during the blackout era. All right. She, you know, shaves her head. <laughs> she uh, has a scuffle with paparazzi. She's also out in public, you know, with paparazzi looking a hot mess. Larry still continues to work Britney, you know. Um, I don't think in 2007 enough time was taken out for her mental health. I think that was, like, the most opportune time for you, Larry, to say, okay, Britney's never performing again. She may never perform again. I want Britney to be in her best health, you know, possible. No, I'm just saying. And then and during the circus tour, we could still see, you know, because the circus tour was supposed to be her comeback era. But, like, as a huge Britney fan, I could still see, you know, she's not all the way right. Like, this is not the Britney I know. Like, you know, like, I couldn't relate. So it's just... During the circus tour, you continue to work her. You know, you put her through the circus tour. I mean, I remember she had this special during the circus tour. She had this huge interview on MTV where, like, we got, like, a peek into her life and her drama and how her life is basically shit now. All right, this was, like, I don't know. When did circus come out? Like, I don't even remember. But it just seems like ever since circus, Britney's mental health has declined and declined and declined. I don't understand why now all of a sudden when we're hearing rumors, because... During that time, I don't specifically remember hearing rumors about Britney, like, wanting to reclaim her independence or anything like that. I think Britney was really, like, tightly controlled at that time because she was in the throes of, like, her mental health being a wreck. Now, all of a sudden, you know, Britney, you know, we're hearing rumors of Britney just wanting her freedom. And remember, I did the tarot reading. Check out my tarot reading. I did two readings on Britney recently. One I did a couple days ago where I checked to see if she would perform again, and I was basically looking into it and seeing, basically, Britney just wants her freedom. Like, that's what this is all about. Britney wants her freedom. Britney wants her life back. She wants out of the conservatorship. And now, all of a sudden, you know, it's all hands off. I can't help you, Britney. You know, if I can't have... This is this is how I see Larry Rudolph. This is what his kind of... All of a sudden, not allowing her to perform again, saying she's not in the best health. This is how I see that. I can no longer do anything with you, Britney, because I no longer have control over the situation. I no longer have control over you. So when you are ready for me to control you in your career again, and you're not going to fight for, for your freedom and fight for control, call me and I'll be there for you. That's how I see Larry acting right now. That's how I see Larry, he's, you know, uh, talking to the media about Britney not performing again. It just seems shady, Larry. I'm not here for it. Now, what was I saying before that? Because I was saying I was making a good point, but I just got too into that to to further that point. Let me think real quick. Oh, yeah. So it just seems like it just seems really shady because now all of a sudden in 2019, Brittany wants her freedom. She wants more control over her life. And it just seems really shady. like this is when you should be supporting her the most. You know, this is when you should be saying, Larry, okay, Brittany, what do you want to do right now? Do you want to work? Or, you know, do you want to focus on your mental health? You know, how can I help you during this process? You don't say, I can't help you. I'm t all, all hands off deck, Larry. That's not cool. And it just seems really shady. And to be honest, I kind of hope Brittany gets a new management. I kind of hope Brittany gets a new team when, you know, and I'm crossing my fingers for her. I'm praying for Brittany. That she does gain her freedom and gain her independence from this nonsense, from these people who don't seem on the outside to have her best self-interest at heart, but only their best best self-interest at heart. Because, let's go back, even to when Britney was in the throes of her breakdown, back during the circus era, back during the blackout era, back during the femme fatale era, what other albums came out? Actually, during the, the glory era, she wasn't in a lot of drama. But she was still tightly controlled. Like, we didn't see a lot of her. We didn't see a lot of the true Britney that we want to see, right? Britney was still viable in those days. Britney was still marketable. Britney was still lucrative in those days. Like, even when she was kind of a mess. Even when she wasn't all the way there. And we kind of knew she was all the way there. But now, we're in this new era of pop music. We're in this new era of, you know, stardom. We're in this new era of celebrity. And it's just like, where does Britney fit? Where does Britney fit in this new era of celebrity? Yes, she still has fans. 
Yes, she's still, you know, one of the most legendary pop stars ever to live, ever to grace this earth. But just because that is so doesn't mean that Britney fits into this new land scheme of pop stars. So what I'm gathering from this, and this could be my psychic perception, this could be my psychic tea tapping into it. I just get that they're trying to figure out where does Britney fit in this grand scheme of things. How can we make, make the most money out of Britney in her current condition? And they're having trouble figuring that out because Britney is wanting her freedom. She's wanting her independence. And it's just so frustrating to see the people that she should be able to trust the most and depend on the most betray her, you know, and betray her in public. Like, I'm so disappointed in Larry. And if I see him move on to one of his his other clients and try to make turn them into a Britney or, you know, try to pump, you know, money out of them, I'm going to really know that he's just all about the money. Because he just moves on from, he leeches off from one, you know, um, prominent star, one moneymaker to the next, you know. So, Brittany, I just really hope you consider reallowing Larry into your life. I don't know your personal connection to him. I don't know your personal relationship with him. But it just seems shady to me. If I had a manager, I wouldn't want my manager to not completely abandoned me in my time of need you know it just seems a little bit shady and maybe I'm wrong maybe Larry is you know by her side behind the scenes and you know but I remember reading something where like he said like Britney calls her Britney Britney calls Ooh, I feel, feel a little bit of shade sorry for calling you her girl but um Britney, he said Britney calls him, like, when she's excited for work, when she's ready to work. But lately, he said Britney hasn't been calling her. Britney hasn't been... See, I slipped up again. Britney hasn't been calling him. He said, you know, it, it's been crickets. But Larry, the phone goes both ways. Why haven't you been calling Britney? It doesn't always have to be about, you know, business. Why haven't you been calling her to see if she's okay? How's Britney doing? You know, um, why don't you call Britney's dad or, you know, someone that you can get in touch with to see how Britney is doing to show that you care? It just seems really shady. And maybe you do care. Maybe you are sending Britney, you know, candies and flowers and, and notes, you know, showing, you know, a gratitude and hoping she gets better. I hope you show that in the public eye because you look really, really shady right now. And I'm disappointed. And I'm just kind of wondering who you think you are, to be honest. So I don't know if you're going to see this video. I don't care. I just had to vent because I love Britney. I'm a Britney fan. I'm a Britney stan. And, you know, I think we need to see some support for Britney in, in the public eye. We don't need to see people abandoning her in her time of need, abandoning her in what is, I believe, a time in her life where she's trying to fight for her freedom, trying to fight for her life, literally. So I have chalked up a storm. I'm going to have a sip of a drink really quickly. And Larry, I just hope, you know, you think about this, you know, um, when we think about you, we think about Britney, you know, when we think about Britney, we think about you, at least her super fans do. But right now I think the super fans, and I can't speak for the super fans. I can only see, speak for myself as a super fan. We're looking at you really shady. I'm looking at you really shady, really sad eye. So I hope you clear it up because we love Britney and we only want the best for Britney. Okay. Love and light. Remember, uh, if you would like a personal reading from me, I am an astrologer as well as a psychic tarot reader, and I promise I don't vent this much. But subscribe, all right? Because uh, I do a lot of other videos too. And also make sure you hit that bell next to the subscribe button. Follow me on my social me media pages. My Instagram is at Lamar Townsend. My Facebook is Lamar Townsend Tarot. And Brittany, um, we're praying for you. We're rooting for you. Let you let us know what you need. I know that's not easy for you to do. I know that's hard. But, you know, give us signs. You know, um, you know, if if you're in danger, if you're in need of help, blink twice, Brittany. Like, we just need some, you know, we need something from you that's authentic, you know, to really see where your head's at, you know. And I know, you know that we see through the facade. We, like, I know... You're smarter than you put on. I know that you are are more aware than you seem. All right. So, Brittany, I just hope that, you know, we see more of that. And I thank you for listening and watching. I'll catch you in the next video.